I was drafted and uh, trained at Fort Polk, uh, AIT, basic in AIT, and uh, went over with about six guys out of uh, out of training. Uh, that was in uh, September of '66. Uh, we got to uh, Long Bend. We uh, were at the Central Center at the Reception Center at uh, Long Bend, and uh, the word was that the best place to go was to Cameron Bay. And I couldn't believe my couldn't believe my ears when uh, the names were called out, and uh, we were going to Cameron Bay. No, we didn't even have rifles over there. Uh, I was assigned to an engineering unit, and what I didn't know then was that we were just temporary. Uh, later on, about November, the, the 196, the, the unit I wound up with, uh, got shot up, and uh, so there I went as a replacement uh, to Tain Inn. Then uh, we were there till, uh, I got there about November, and then we were there till about April the following year when we moved up to Shoe Line to south of Da Nang, about 50 miles south of Da Nang. I'm straightforward and factual, and uh, big dummy that I was, I would write my mother and tell her that uh, we had two guys killed last week, or one guy killed uh, uh, two weeks ago. And, uh, I got a letter from my sister telling me, stop doing that, because mother falls apart. Most veterans have, uh, have uh, really extraordinary stories to tell, war stories. My, the most significant thing I did in Vietnam is I came home for my mother. Yeah, nobody ever talks about the mothers. And they're the ones who really, really suffered the most because uh, every single hour of the day, every, uh, every single day they, they were, they lived in fear and anxiety, worried about their sons in Vietnam. The only time I was afraid was before going out on operations. And, uh, but once we got out there, I was in the rice paddies in the jungle and I was okay.